Uh, just tell me a little bit about your closet. I know it's a really broad question, yeah, yeah. but any thoughts that come to mind? Yeah. Just no no judgment, just roll with yeah. whatever you can um, think of. Relatively, I feel like I know where everything is and I keep it mostly organized, um, but I don't have containers for things and I would like to have like for example, I just keep these out because they're I frequently access them, but I have this shoebox in this container and technically they're supposed to contain my, my health items. So okay. I definitely yeah, have just things out and about but like organized into categories. So aesthetics is really important. Not really important, okay. but I it would be nice. Okay. Yes. Uh, so a little bit of um, you know, function is really important as far mm -hmm. as things being accessible, yeah. but also aesthetics matching. Yeah. Um, yeah. It looks like you've been kind of making do with like the stuff you have, like boxes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's time for to spend a little bit of money. You have yep. a bit of a budget. Yep. We're think we're thinking maybe like Target. Yep. Is a mm -hmm. place that you like. Yep. Okay. I'd also like to move the cleaning supplies out because I feel okay. like it doesn't fit. It just feels like maybe like not very healthy and move okay. it under the sinks. Okay. And that way that will free up that space too. Okay. So I usually have guest pillows. Uh, but you're using them. I don't mind. And they've been wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Um, is there any other storage spaces around the house mm -hmm. support the same categories or have space that in order to simplify a little bit, you could relocate to another area, not in the bathroom? Not really. Don't have a lot of space anywhere else. Everything's pretty tight. Everything's out, very tight. Outside yeah. the bathroom. You want to stick right. to under the sinks over there, which yeah. you have space. I have space yeah. under there. So I okay. did notice that you do have some, you do have wiggle room. Yeah. Um, now, of course, sometimes when you organize, things have a tendency to spread out a little more. So let's talk about purging. So zero to ten. Ten being you would purge everything and zero, nothing would be purged. I'd say one. Yes. Okay. I go through everything pretty frequently. So okay. I want to say that there's not much I'm going to want to throw out. Okay. Do you have any issues, any problems? You said you can find things most mm -hmm. of the time. Uh, cleanliness, um, bugs, yeah. buying triples or doubles because you forgot you had it. No, I usually keep a backup and then when I take the backup, I put it on the list. Okay. I'm pretty good with that. I do notice something going on with this cabinet here, but I need to have a plumber come out and look at that. Some plumbing things. Okay. Yeah. So but we could discuss a tentative future plan for when right. the when the plumbing gets fixed. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that's great. Are you pretty fully stocked right now as far mm -hmm. as the max you would have? I see mm -hmm. we've got tissue boxes and cleaning mm -hmm. supplies. Yeah. I might have more toilet paper than that. Okay. Yeah, but other than that, like I've got, I have extra toothpaste, I have extra and I got, I got extra of the things already. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So that's uh -huh. good. So so if we do organize that you're fully stocked, mm -hmm. you're kind of at your max right now. So that's really helpful. Uh, do you have any questions about the process that we're about to dive into? Nope. Okay. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull everything out and we're going to categorize. We're going to categorize by how they make sense to things make sense to you, but also how you use them. We're going to analyze also under the sink and the drawers uh, over that way too. As we work together, I'll get to know, you know, mm -hmm. get to know you, how you function and how you see your space and your items. And then we'll make a list. We'll go shopping, buy some containers and then put it all back together. Yay! Yay! Sweet. To prepare for the appointment, I simply grabbed a basket and cleared the working space. Before you jump into any organizing project, you want to look at the room and make sure there is enough space to get the job done. Okay, the space is all clear. We're ready to work. Sometimes if you can, a table or something that is waist high for sorting is really helpful. It's nice to be able to sort in the space if you have space available. So. We're gonna use the countertops, we're gonna use the corners of the bathtub there, and then maybe a little bit of the floor here to sort our categories. Right now my sister's busy working, and this is a part that I can do on my own, especially when I'm working with clients, there's certain parts that I'm able to do if they wanna delegate that to me. It's easy, but when it comes to making the decisions, that's the important part when they need to step in. So I was able to locate some empty bins. We're gonna use these to make things a little bit more streamlined and quick to empty out the closet and sort items. And then of course a trash can. We're not anticipating a lot of trash, otherwise I might have a large trash bag, but we've got our trash can ready. We've got our sorting bins ready to go. Time to empty out the closet. Since I'm visiting my sister out of state, I did not have my usual organizing tools. That would normally include large Rubbermaid roughneck totes and some smaller bins to sort smaller items. There are quite a few benefits to sorting your items into tubs. 
We're gonna do a more detailed sort later. I just wanna empty out the shelves and get cleaning. Using tubs is especially helpful for when you're working with real small items. You wanna dump things out and rather than dumping them all over the floor, it can keep things a lot tidier. The bins also help for when you wanna move a category around. You're gonna be moving things and shifting things and trying to work. Now, we're doing an overhaul in this bathroom, which is to pull everything out, go through it all and completely reset this bathroom. In my book, How to Organize Everything, I talk about the four stages of organization, purge, sort, contain, and maintain. And the last step is about maintaining. Once you get a nice template or layout of an organized system in a space, and that space functions the same for years and years, then all you have to do is maintain. There's no need to overhaul. Though sometimes that's just how people function. They wait until it gets to the point where it drives them nuts and that's their cue and their motivation to redo a space. All right, okay, so everything's empty and clean and the piles are sorted by the location it was. Usually we start with like the obvious, mm -hmm. like things that we know for sure, like you know certain things will absolutely live and then as you go, all like the weird oddball stuff kind of like falls into place mm -hmm. at the end. So we are going to make a shopping list of things to buy. We already have one item on the shopping list, which we talked about some shelf liner down under the cabinets to protect and kind of level up the look, uh, which is what we're going for today was a little bit add some more aesthetic and simplicity to the look of the closet and the cabinets. We're also gonna take some measurements to get measurements of uh, how many bins we can fit when we go to Target. How you doing? I stopped paying attention to what you were saying. You just have to pretend. Yeah. Like why are you even here for this mm -hmm. monologue right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so one of the biggest categories we're gonna start with is the cleaning supplies. We've got a lot of tissues. That's probably the most you'll have, right? Are you gonna yeah. order a lot, like that amount again? Is that kind of like probably. how much you order? Mm -hmm. You just love having it set? Kind of, but, no. but looking at it right now is making me change my mind because okay. I'm like, well, now I gotta store this somewhere. Right. I guess if it ends up taking up precious, uh, pr if it shows itself taking up precious space that you could otherwise use it for something else really important we can make that decision right i then. feel like it might be okay because we're gonna move cleaning supplies under the cabinet yeah the sink here yeah also too i have a lot of like cleaning supply backup stuff that could be moved to like under the kitchen sink or okay. the laundry room. laundry room i feel like okay. there's like duplicates of things and things i don't use frequently that could yeah. be relocated okay so that's good to have a that's good to have flexibility because okay. that helps with um with options. The next thing, the next largest category, I would say would be your linens, mm -hmm. your towels, and this this area here. You've got some extra sheets, mm -hmm. extra pillowcases, mm -hmm. and towels. Is this really, is this everything? Um, pretty much, uh, well, okay, yeah. So what goes on your bed actually goes in the um, cover thing that's separate my guest bed um, yeah so I, the extra sheets like I just have one set of extra sheets for my bed okay. everything else is just extra for yeah. like for emergency scenario or okay. something yeah so I would be okay with putting those sheets like in the closet like the backup ones your like master the, bedroom closet yeah I okay. just want my my second set of sheets for my bed to be easily accessible because I change them weekly got it but everything else could really be relocated somewhere else okay all right so we're gonna purge mm -hmm. we've already kind of sorted because you are pretty good at sorting everything um kind of connects already so we're gonna do a little bit of purging mm -hmm. and still a little bit of sorting and once we've finished that, we will head to the store and get our items to contain. Since we already know these tissues are obviously actually gonna go back into the bottom of the closet, we're just gonna do that to get those out of the way since that's all clean down there. The main goals of purging and sorting is to recognize what your categories are, but also how much physical space each category takes up. We'll go with that for now. Nice tight row, that way it leaves a little space on the left side and we'll see how that winds up. We're gonna have more tissues. Uh, we may, you prefer to keep it in the plastic wrap so it stays clean. Um, and 
I'd like a nicer container for Would it. Would you like to put it in into yeah. something uh -huh. to clean? Okay. Yeah. It's probably gonna take up a lot more space, right? So yeah. most of that is probably gonna happen. Yeah. So we wanna consider something to contain and keep it clean down there. So let's add that to the shopping list. Uh, okay, so this category came from which is, what shelf was this? Was this here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is like feminine products. Mm -hmm. Um definitely uh oh, is like Probably a new container for that. This is a hand towel. So okay. Is with linens. Relocate. Okay. Yep. We've got all feminine products in here. Yep. Uh, are these? Do these belong in here? That there. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cleaners for things. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So this all makes sense. Nothing to purge. Nope. Uh, we're gonna get a new container to match the aesthetics. This is a little wobbly too, so That's we will this. replace that. Um, yes. Uh, feminine products. Uh -huh. uh, on that same shelf was some flameless candle lights. Mm -hmm. This is kind of its own thing. I feel like this is a good uh, cousin's co-workers thing. Cousin's co-workers process? Okay. I feel like it might make more sense in the laundry room. Right, is there somewhere else that would make more sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we're gonna start a relocate pile. Okay, so if you wouldn't mind just a spot around the corner, just mm -hmm. set that down and we will worry about relocating that later. If that pile gets really big, uh, we will address it halfway through, but if it's not too bad, we'll do it at the end. Okay. Uh, we've got some facial cleanser products. Yep. Keep, and that's a backup. Actually, I need it. Okay. So you're ready to replace yes. your yes. one over there in the medicine cabinet? And, and buy a new, um, actually, no, uh, with my skincare. That's considered what we would call back stock. Mm -hmm. what, did you, what did you mention? It's just backup? Uh, your backups. Yeah, my backups. Okay. Yeah. Like so I usually have one or two backups of things. All right, so it's possible. Did you have a section already that was just backups? Kind of. It was like that shelf. That, okay. that one right there. And they were just mm -hmm. kind of freestanding around. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Grouped. Okay. okay. Uh, we've got some clay. Oh, facial Ooh. mask. Yeah, but I don't really use it. Okay. Oh, it's probably ex Does it expire? August 2023. It's clay powder. Okay. So I really don't use it anymore. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. You can either give it away or donate. So put it in the give away or donate okay. area. So okay. I've got a relocate pile, okay. a giveaway or donate pile. Okay. okay, we're done with that section. Let's move on to this bin here. This was just stuff that was freestanding yeah. over on the shelf. Okay. Um, I noticed you had an area down here of like muscle, like yes. muscle care, yes. body, body first yep. aid. We'll, we'll come up with a category for that. Yep. Let's address each one of these. This looks um, like oils, maybe. Yeah, it's a castor oil. Technically, it's like it's like beauty, but it's also like health. Um, All different purposes, kind of. Yeah, it can be either or. I okay. want to say because I don't use it frequently, and if I was going to use it, I'd probably put it in a smaller container. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering if it's expired. Cause how often are you using it? I'm not using it. Not using. It. I mean, I was using it. It's okay. one of those things where it's like I'm either using it or I'm not. Yeah. Using it, you know you're thinking I mean? uh, maybe give away or donate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess so. Cause I probably should get a fresh one if I really make sure it's good quality. Okay. All right. That well, I can donate. I don't use okay. that anymore either. Okay. I'll wait and hold it. All right. Empty. Um, oh, car vent diffuser. Oh, oh, that was just the box for it. I think. Doesn't have little extra pads in it? Maybe. Oh those, yeah, it does. Um. Oh, that's. Such a weird Oh, I don't thing. have a, I, I think I don't have, I couldn't put it in my current car. Okay. Uh, worst case scenario, it probably has one already on it with mm -hmm. it, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so trash? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, can... so recycle and then we'll trash. Okay. Essential oils. I think a lot of people can relate to this. Yeah. Um, this was pretty cool. If you have essential oils, this was a custom block, I guess a two by four at one point and drilled holes so that the oils could sit, mm -hmm. well, certain sizes could sit in there. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Oh gosh, I really don't use, I don't do it anymore. A really. lot of people that, that happens, yeah. yeah. We have this idea that we're gonna wanna use them. make all sorts of homemade products and then. Right, yeah. And I just, I really don't, I don't use it. Um, I see you have lavender, are you using that Ooh, one? I do like to put that on my dryer wool balls. Okay. Oh, right in the dryer, nice. Yeah, okay, so relocate, okay. I think I, could, I think I could donate everything right. else. I mean, I kind of like the blends, but yeah. these are peppermint. Okay. Um, so these are really small samples. Mm -hmm. So if you decided, you know, they're a couple bucks, if you wanted to replace them, you really right. could if they, they came back around in your life right. again. Oh, so I feel like- They expire too, do they expire? Um, not, re not really, no. Maybe it takes, if they've been in uh, a, I think a cool, dry, like dark, that's why the bottles are dark. Yeah, yeah, I think they're fine. You could either give away or donate. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's this? 
Probably carrier oil. Carrier oil. That would be my guess. What's that? What's that do? Like to mix. To mix. Oh, yes. to blend so it's safe on your skin. Oof, that's trash. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We emptied a bin. Look at this. You're doing great. Good purging. Yay. Um. Okay. Empty bin. I'm just gonna set it in the top there. All right. Moving along. Let's do the smaller okay. bin right here. Okay. Um, is this a theme to you? Like, no, no, I just, just don't have space. Just I didn't have space for enough uh, of all, right. all, all, all of it. All right, we still got my Pepto is still good, right? Use it, yeah. Okay, so we're we'll just going to set that down, see if there's anything similar. Okay. We've got sinus relief and a neti pot. Okay. So I mean, that's... Actually, I kind of want to get rid of that neti pot because I have a better, like, squeeze bottle one. So You have a better one? Yeah, I don't okay. think you would donate that. I feel like that would be recycled. That's, yeah, I don't think anybody wants your used neti. No. Uh, what about this one? That was neti pot that came with the neti pot. Okay. I don't really use it for anything. Okay. I feel like it's probably something good to have around. I know. Is it one of those little tools? Yeah, just in yeah. case. Okay. For something. I don't okay. know what. All right. I've never used it, but. All right. Well, this will be like an oddball item. Yeah. I think we'll squeeze in at the end. We'll do okay. cousins and coworkers. And then some sinus relief. Yeah, I feel like I would keep that. Does it expire? What is it? What's in there? You mix it. It's like saline solution, like a salt. To do in the neti pot? To do with the neti pot, Where yeah. is the other neti pot? Um, probably in there. Oh, it's coming up, okay. I guess. Okay. Maybe. All if right. it's not, then this we could um, see outer box for lot and expiration. Nope, I don't have that, so I don't know if this expires or not, but... Maybe the individual... Oh, for expiration. Yeah, it's an outer box. So I guess oh. the box it came in. Let's look at the... Is there individual packages? Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's out of box. Out of, it's like a few years old. Um, maybe that's something we could Google later. Okay. If you want to like look, yeah. take a quick peek, we can Google that. Okay. Right. I'll make a little like a little active pile of things we need to like handle. Okay. Normally I would stop. But make okay. a note. Yeah. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah. Write down. Um, we've got some cough drops. Yes, I like to have those. Yeah. Let's, let's go and we'll connect to like first aid. Yeah. Right. It's kind of like all this maybe the Pepto. It depends yeah. on what other stuff you have. So yeah. this will kind of be like you know first aid, cold remedy, etc. All right, we're getting into like muscle care okay. kind of things. We've got, uh, what are these What are these called? He, um, water ice, bottle, hot ice water pack, bottle. hot water bottle. Yeah, I like having those. Okay, what else do we have? Anything here connected to that? Um, this, this is kind of, this is like for the castor oil actually. This little bin to sort into. Oil. Yeah, this is the fresh castor oil. So technically this kind of goes together. This is for case where I was putting on this, my low back. Okay. I, I guess I'll keep it because I don't know if I'm going to keep using it. Okay. Maybe. It's a not sure. Yeah. Okay. I think you've got keep it. plenty of space to um, put in there. See. Yeah. Okay. So that all works together. Yeah. And what do you do with this? You put the castor oil on the inside here uh -huh. and you put it on part of your body to feel better. Yeah. Low back. Okay. So those are similar, similar things. Okay, um, just pick, I would say pick, pick something else next that right. resonates. So uh, there's cat things. It's oh, like health related, but yeah. for the cat. So okay. I feel like that could be its own category. Yeah, is there anything else cat related around the house? Cat? Um, there's toys. Okay. This would make sense. This is a good um, place for medicine. Yeah. This was like, I feel like I wanted to keep Hold this on hand in oh, case. Up. Okay. So it's probably expired. Cats. Let's see. Okay. Expires oh, January 24th. I'm going to toss all okay. the other cat stuff. Okay. Uh, this is cat. Alright. This is cat. Oh, was that little, was that jar with the little. Yes. Right here. Is this yes. cat uh -huh. here? That's cat. Um, and you're using this often, is that why it's like out like that? So you can like no. grab it real quick? No, I stopped using it. So I technically, this is all, it's not used anymore. Trash? I guess so, yeah. But Even though the brush you handed me? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too hard to brush their teeth. Okay. Yeah, it's very stressful, isn't it? Empty box? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that was a heart rate monitor. And I just oh. would store it in there. Okay. Um, so we can just toss that because you're gonna get for all of this. Yep. Yeah. Actually, uh, do you need bring the... that in because that's where it's gonna live. Yeah. Okay. Do you need the manual? Uh, I don't think so. We can just look it up online. All right. And this I, this was like a st for like muscle splint, splint, uh, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heart rate monitor. Splint as far as oh, it was like injury, more like injury. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I kind of oh. see it all together in yeah. my mind because I don't have much of it. Sure. So I feel like one big box. Right. Yeah. Even like, any ace bandages or anything like that? Uh, yeah. I think like. Okay. Similar. It's all still the together. Bandages. All right. Uh huh. Same. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, uh, COVID test. COVID These do expire. Okay, I think they're new. Steve just bought them. Oh, okay, twenty twenty four. Okay, all right. So yeah. let's do like um, maybe um, it's because this is like muscle care. You want to okay. consider this what like um, being like uh, I don't want to say sick, but okay. like remedy and cold. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't feel like I have a ton of it to where okay. I really care so about that much. Okay. I feel like I would be okay with one big yeah container for okay. all of it. Okay. But if we feel like there's two separate categories that makes sense, then Fair. I'm fine with that too. Okay. So then this is like the kind of the same thing as like a oh the sleeve yeah muscle. yeah like a sleeve to keep okay. yeah for an injury. Okay. Yep. Um, heart rate monitor, right. glucose monitor, okay. blood sugar. All right. Yeah, this all makes sense to you still in your head. I think so, yeah. Other than the cats. Oops. Mm -hmm. Other than the cat stuff, mm -hmm. all right. Same um, with same with this. This is another monitor. That's a oh. tens unit, so that's muscles. Same thing. Muscle. Okay. Yeah. This is a teeth kit, like a dental. Okay, like, which you have over here, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess that would go on that. Okay. Is it like tra a travel kit? Uh, no, it's like um, oh, cleaning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like sometimes I get stuff stuck in my tooth or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I put this manual. Relocate to my manuals. Your manual spot. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Um, we got some first aid. We got bandages. Mm -hmm. um, this that's is a monitor, right? Okay. All right. First aid. Right. Yeah. You don't get sick too much. Looks yeah. like so. That's good. Keep it up, sis. Keep it up. Yeah. Um. All right. We're just doing the sick stuff there. Okay. And that. And this is the same. Mm -hmm. But then again, you said you use these pretty often, so like if you, go, if you go to those a lot, those could still sit out. And that's, yeah, yeah. that's like first aid. First aid. Kind of so people, hydrogen yeah. peroxide, does it go with cleaning? Some right. people use it for cleaning too, but. I would say I use it more for, actually the thing I use it more for is my ears. Okay. That's, or even like, some people wash with their yeah. mouths, don't they? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. purpose. Okay, great. We've got like muscle care. Some body support. We'll come up with those labels and categories. We've got feminine, feminine products, uh, trash, cycle. All right, we got um, eye care. Is this um, backup? Uh, yes. Backup for contacts. Contacts. Yep. So we're gonna trash that. Sure. Okay. Um, would you have a tendency to get the box like that and just set it on the shelf in a two pack if? No, I can take them out. Would can you take them out? out? Yeah, so that's uh -huh. key. Like, if you want yeah. to make space for that. Yeah. Um, we had another. Do we have backup? What was the other backup thing? Oh, you used it. It was I the facial it. cleaner. Uh huh. Okay. I took a short dance break, and it gave me time to think. Usually, when I'm helping clients, I have labels for each category. Especially now that we're six categories deep, it helps us with quicker sorting prompts. Putting a sticky note next to each category with its name. Let's just start with the big stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think that's expired. Sunscreen. Oh, 2020. Yep. Yeah, it's expired. Okay. Tom's toothpaste. Um, so as a warehouse manager, whenever like stuff like this comes in, I always try to process it right away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Take that shrink wrap off and if you can empty it, although these will probably store better with bo in their boxes. So these are backups, right? Uh, they are. Ooh, I would okay. even just like throw them in there. Yeah. Out of the box. So if you can there. process them and put, get them in the drawer, you're going to have to take up less space. If that's the habit you can create. Yeah. I would definitely okay. recommend that. There we go. It's funny. I wasn't going to get a trash bag. I even said it. In, I was going to say it in the video. Yeah, I did. I was I'm like, putting trash and recycling together. Right. Yeah. We'll process that. Yeah. That would be idea. Yeah. You're doing great. Good job. All right, so if you have, if you can't fit these in there, and yeah. you have one over there, um, I store them in this. I just what I do, and I have like five packs. Yeah. So you would consider these either backup or go in there. Uh, they, they could go in Why there. don't we pull that out on the end? Oh, it does. Hey, that's great. It does. Okay. I guess it would be nice to have a bigger. Yeah, it's a little, little, that's a little small, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't really even know what that is. So. Okay, fair. You'll have all your categories all figured out here mm -hmm. soon. Okay, um, another sun sunscreen. Yep, that's expired uh, at the beginning of this year. I mean, oh. well, I mean, I think it loses its quality. It's almost gone it's though. Almost gone. Probably okay, trash yeah. that and get a fresh one. Okay. Do you want to write that on your shopping list I at all? Did. You did. You wrote it down. Yeah. That's true. We're gonna need it for this weekend. Right. Okay. Next. Backup. Oh, backup. Back stock. 
place. Yep. Like that. Oh, I love when the categories start falling into place. Back up. Okay. Back up. Ooh, is this the back of bin? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's kind of. Yeah. Back up. My knees hurt. I need knee pads. Um. Why don't you? Why don't you? Oh, here. How about this? You look at that. Bruises. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Oh. Thank you. What is that? Which hazel? Uh, did you have? I mean, it's kind of like that on hand. It was. It was like to mix to make concoctions of. Yeah. Don't eat, don't eat that. Because you, if you were going to do that, you would run out of the store and actively get it to use it, right? You can yeah. go get it. I mean, that's um, what I did the last time, and then I just... Okay. Contacts. Contacts. Eyewear or backup? Uh, It's backup, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they're like okay. The solution is there, too, so... Right. And if you're, if one category grows, you can, you know, you can... The, if the category grows into right. a really big category, then you look at everything and kind of reanalyze and say, for instance, all this eye stuff started popping up as right. backups. You put a you know a backup eye bin next to the backup right. box, you know. Backup. backup. Nice. Uh, these are just empty bottles that right. I can't bear to part sure, with. Sure, <laughs> sure. I'm I'm the same way. Yeah, because you you're apt to. I might use, like, yeah. I mean, I have you look at these right. for the bathroom. Yeah, and are these replaceable? Like, can you run out to the store and, and get something like I that? I can, yeah. Look at the travel section, right? Give me that other little bottle there. Okay. Same thing. Okay. okay. Those are all just lids, too. I don't even know what. Um, oh. I think I had other glass bottles. There's a bit of bottles. Oh, okay. Oh, old glasses. Uh, yeah, I just kept them, like, just in case, but I have two right. pairs, so yeah, I guess they can get tossed. I always they, thought they're all nice... broken. Um, I don't think, these two are broken. Oh, okay, yeah, and that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the battery's dying on my phone, I think it's still recording. Um, I mean, you could probably donate the cases, but the glasses are trash. trash. There is something called Lions Club, okay, but that can be usually for they're done. They're yeah, done. you're done. The okay, Lions Club does collect glasses, but in good condition. Koala cloth, premium washable, reusable microfiber lens cleaning cloth. Uh, I do like that because I yeah. do clean my glasses, and okay. I have a glass cleaner nearby here. Okay. That I like to have oh, like accessible. And you had a glass cleaner in backup too. Backup, so. Yeah. Okay. And another empty bin. Ah. Yay. Nice. I'm trying to remember which ones. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, more hair. Hair and eyes. Okay. Extra contact cases. Yeah. How many people out there have these extra contact cases? I do too. I have one backup for travel. I need one. Yeah. I We've got one. four here. I don't know so. what to do with them. I recycle, I guess. Yeah. Um, I believe it has a recycling icon. Otherwise, you could put it in donate, but I think it's, I would say trash. I don't think anybody's going to reuse an eye thing. Especially when they're so easy to come by. I would like, I have, I have hair stuff kind of spread out. I okay. would like to maybe have it all together. So yeah. That's okay. hair. All right. Hair there. Okay. This is all hair, some clothes pins, but we'll get, well, they're safety pins. Okay. We're going to put that near, near the hair stuff. So yeah. when we get to hair, right. Okay. We'll dive in there. <laughs> all right. Let's do this thing. Oh, this is pretty self-explanatory. We've got cotton balls and yes. Q-tips. Yep. Is this about the most you'll have? A bag in a box? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, it's it's almost like kind of... The, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty common... Uh, the, the cotton pads are back stock. The cotton pads... Ah, they're back stock. Okay. Yeah, I don't know mm. how that works. We'll see. Okay. We'll see how it lines up. Yes. It'll, it'll, the answer will reveal itself. And, and the Q-tips kind of are too, because I store Q-tips here, and oh. then I fill from that. Okay, so this might be back... The, okay. The, yeah, cotton, the cotton balls, actually, here, give me the cotton balls, yeah. because here they're go. technically for nail stuff, which I, don't, I haven't paid my nails in forever. All right, so they're not like you're using them a lot. No. Okay, but of, if you did get a big, a large bag, you want to anticipate that. I think so, maybe. Yeah. You know, so but that that's why you have a back stock area. Right. Oh, right. Post-it notes? What are these? Um, no, they were for the glass bottles that I bought. So trash. Oh. Things. Got this. We've got the drawer thing here, and you've already got your categories. Kind of. Let's pull these out and keep yeah. them out. We've got um, teeth. Do you want to merge any of this? This is eye drops. 
I think the thing about the, the the tooth category is that you always end up getting more from your dentist. Yeah, we and say the no now. Losses, you say no. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's good. It's coming in. You're cutting it off where it comes in. Yep. Expiration date floss expires two sixteen. Is that real? I don't know. Yeah. That's real. Why would it expire? I don't know. Some some things on shelf like that, like I don't tend to like the floss. I, I think that's floss cool. picks. Yeah. yeah, floss picks too. So. Yeah. Do you want me to go through? Yeah, these? see if you can pick anything out. I would trash the floss. Oh, let's see, we'll just do giveaway. It depends on what your okay. resources are for giveaway versus trash, you know? Okay, like, all right. Yeah. Like sometimes a friend or a, someone that actually uses floss, you know, would take them, but a donation store would not. This is back stock. Yeah. Right. This is like actual okay. stuff for my teeth. Mm-hmm. Just don't make it all stuff. together and just set it here next to backstock. Okay. For, for the moment. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Nails. Oh, Files. Yeah. Nail polish. What's how what's the oh? What's that feeling? Uh because I don't really paint my nails anymore. Yeah. I okay. used to, but I don't really take the time to do that anymore. Yeah. Um, okay. And I feel like I guess if I, I'm gonna say donate. Okay. If I want to get back into it, I can. Yep. But I do keep these. What happens if you go to paint your nails and you get rid of them? We have to get a manicure or something. Or... You go, you can go get a manicure, and they have lots and lots of colors to choose right. from. Yeah. Or you can go to a place and most likely replace yeah, right. the color. They're pretty old too, so are it's they probably better if I okay. get nails? Okay, next we've got a kind of a mishmash. Looks like razors and razor heads with yes. some. Um, let's just address the razor heads first. Okay, um, razor heads are definitely back stock. Okay. Because you'll just, when it's time to replace it, you'll put the new yep. razor head on. Uh -huh. yep. And then you have some backup, like, regular razors that travel. They do. Like a yes, travel razor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I guess I could use them if I ever was in a pinch. Okay, so we're going to keep those razors. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other hair removal stuff? No. Waxing? Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. Um, but that's ultimately back stock. But right. a certain category. Okay, now we're looking at what's this baggie here? Oh, that, that is for like putting, um, like, I would put that castor oil and be like applicators. Applicator, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Very specific, those little funnels Forced to it. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they'll use it. Yeah. Trash. I could do it. Okay. True. All right. I found another razor. Okay. All right. Um, what are these patches? Patches for jeans. Um, oh, like sewing. Do you have sewing? I don't trash. Like yeah, trash. Got lots of little products. This is a common thing. I think a lot of people can connect to the um, travel bottles. These look pretty empty. Were you saving these? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. So. It's okay. It's so common. Yeah. So many people keep keep those. Well, I actually save those for my travel cosmetics bag. So like yeah. when I come back, if I need I do to too. replace. Yeah, yeah, I keep a couple. Um, why don't you go ahead and... Um, lotion expires uh, after yeah, a while. It gets, yeah, it's it's liquidy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find any expiration dates. Uh, rose hip seed oil. Oh, no, I don't see expiration on here. Okay. What are you thinking? I forget what what are you thinking on this? Mm. What's it for? Tell me. Talk out loud. Uh, face for your face. You put it on your face, and yeah. then you either massage your face, or you wash out your face. Okay. Uh, I think I do that. I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put it with my paint here. All right. Now we're gonna address all the stuff here on the counter, and then okay. that's gonna be pretty much the rest. Um, we've got masks. I'm assuming keep. Uh, or you could also you could still I don't know. It's not it's unopened, but they look fresh. You could try yeah. to give away or donate if you felt. You would okay. Want to that. Yeah. Okay. All right. I can actually really go quickly through some of these. Just grab. Oh, yeah. Look. Steve. Yeah. Okay. Steve. 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 Recycle. Actually, there's more Steve. I think this too. I think this is kind of pretty easy. Oh yeah. This is all potentially pretty old. Steve. Yeah. That mouthwash looks questionable. Mouthwash. 
Empty. Uh, oh no, uh, what's that? Wait, what is this? What's... Oh, this was just, yeah, this was like, uh, for my shower filter. It came with tape. Oh. You might, well, I'm sure Sticky probably has tape, yeah. yeah I mean, you could give them, but... It was all mm. extra parts. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's installed. It's, it's installed? Tough. It's installed, yeah. yeah. It just was like, it's was like... It expensive? No. It's, um... It's just extra parts because not everything is gonna fit in everyone's shower. Right, so but it's installed. Able... Yeah, it's installed, it's working. Oh, these actually, I think, are, um... I think you can replace these. I think you know these go up in, up in here. And it calcifies, and you, you un, like, you sp actually spin these off and replace these to help with your water flow. I oh, believe. okay. Let me, okay. let me give this to Steve. Okay. See if he, like, see level of parts and That's stuff. true. He's got the yeah. workshop of parts. Are you using oh. those? Um, no, that was for that oh, big basket trash liner. Can. And is that trash can staying in here? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. That was, like, for Steve. Okay. And you I can... don't really need it anymore. So you could relocate the trash bags and that trash can. Yeah. Also oh, down under there too. Oh, okay. Um, uh, this goes with like that stuff over there. Yeah. Pepto Bismol. Um, this is this stick support. Oh, I like this on my back. Massager. Yeah. What nice. this? You have a basket I noticed over there in the corner that's like. You know, like stretching and physical therapy, physical therapy type thing. So like between that or your closet. Yeah, uh, I want to hook it up and try it though. Okay. So. Yeah. Put it off to the side. Yeah, side project. You, I noticed you have both of these. These are oh broken, trash. Oh yeah. They got replaced, and then this one here. Oh, that was underneath the sink. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just it drains better when I pull it out. So. Oh. So, but this is still good. That one's broken, so that one's trash. Okay. Got these little drain things. So your holes, the holes open there. It is. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you fix a clog recently? I did. Is this all? Yeah. For this, I think so. Yeah. Technically, Some... I only use these two. Okay. So I. These don't... are like repeats of these. Is that bigger? Right. It's like bigger. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe I want this one instead. I don't know what the difference would be. It's like how many there are. But until the end. Is it screwed off? Pop yeah. it off. Please pop it off. I think. I've never used one. Just use her. Um. This is fine. Okay. Um. Oh, which one do you like? I think you said that. I think I used this one. Yeah. yeah so I guess okay. I can get rid of that. Okay. Yeah. Donate. Oh, uh, you can. It's so nice to get a donate. This is hair. Okay. Yeah, the blow dryers sometimes are awkward shapes. Yeah. But there's fun, there's fun solutions out there for blow dryers. And how often are you using the blow dryer? Once a week. Once a week. Okay. Let's do also these, um, these here. These are some more. Okay. Is this um, a flat iron? It is. And a curling iron? Yeah. I like to keep it every once in a while. I yeah. might try curling and flat ironing. Okay. Things. So, yeah. okay. So this is makeup. This is like daily makeup, although I would like to yeah. keep the scissors with like the hair stuff, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay. and I pretty much use all of this okay. every once in a while. Okay, so, it. Current, yeah. so this is like yeah, so current, I kind of need to have something else so that it's like a little awkward. It's a little small. Really, yeah. Yeah. Right. The, um, now I feel like the scissors, I mean, cause you're grabbing that and the scissors are getting in the way. Yeah. That's why you pulled these out, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. All right. So these definitely absolutely make sense here. So that's an easy solution. So. Yeah. Um, and it's somewhere just down here where you stand. I think so. Okay. Yeah. And I kind of like the mm -hmm. idea of having like my quick, I like quick access stuff all here. Like yeah. My day to day, like brushes, my daily slash day to day makeup. Yeah. Picking some nice small, small. Mm -hmm. Do you have a preference on uh like plastic? I don't know. Wood can get a little sketchy in the bathroom. Some people do like bamboo. Okay. But when it comes to like depending on how wet things get. Yeah. But if you're not really like getting it. Wet, I'm not getting it. Wet. And if it's not too moist in here, and you've yeah. got the fans, yeah, um, the bamboo containers can look nice. Okay, yeah, do you like the because you got metal, you got plastic, and um, wood are the general three. Okay. You know, I think I would prefer bamboo. Bamboo. Okay. Yeah. So let me just take a little note, put it on our shopping list. Okay. Everything because it's yeah. like it's like hair tool, hair. Oh. Yeah. Let me slash makeup stop slash some jewelry. Okay, so this is all still pretty much your everyday. Yeah. I think when we start sorting out, like we'll get a bunch of different 
dividers for your drawer. Right. Is that a, oh, this went on that thing? Is that? Uh huh. Okay. Oh so no, no, that that was um the um I think that went on the bathroom band tray expandable thing. Okay. Um, because these are all generally small. So right. what's nice when you do when you organize a drawer is that if you um, leave a little flex space. Mm -hmm. I think in anything you organize, flex mm -hmm. space for like odd shaped items or mm -hmm. things that pop up. Is this every day as well? No, I feel like I should clean them and keep them just yeah. in case there's like a special occasion where I want to do makeup. Yeah. But it's not frequent. Okay. So I guess that's a side project. Okay. Sometimes when you make those decisions and then once we're done mm -hmm. and you revisit the thought, and then I'm like, you're like, you can, things. yeah, you're not, I can't. Right. It definitely happens. Um, so just like, if you want to spread this out a little bit so you can see, I mean, I know you kind of knew it was in that drawer. Is this all still really right. you know, pretty current from what you can look at? Um, yeah, I use this, I use this, yeah. kind of use this. I'm actually kind of trying to like replace some of this with a kind of even more minimal. Yeah. I use this, okay. I use this, um, um, I don't Here. really use this. If you want to sort into this, okay. don't use what's that? Oh, the naked? This. Okay. And so this is your backup makeup? Yeah, I don't touch it. It's probably all expired. Right. I know. I was like, should we dive into that? Um, I guess if you're gonna, if this is okay and this works for you as backup, you could, this could be a side project for later. It could, so we can move forward if you want. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Like if this is, if this is pretty obvious to clear. Yeah. That's the room it takes up. That's easy. Right. And okay. then no matter how full or less full okay. it is. Right. It doesn't yeah, matter. Don't touch it. Okay. Oh, it's a side project. Okay. What was, what was that pile down there? Um, travel? This is just like travel bags. Okay. So I use that here yeah. every once in a while. All right. And then this is just travel. I yeah. tend to use this. Okay. I think I have something in it. Do you have any other, any other travel area? I do. I have a oh yeah, there's a little oh, brush. travel brush. Okay. Um, Here, why don't you in my suitcase in there? Okay, stick it in your suitcase. I could. Yeah. yeah. Either that or a travel bin, but you're not traveling often, so to right. to uh, use okay. the real estate of your bathroom for something you don't really use, going in the suitcase would be makes sense, right? Okay, relocate. Okay. Well, I can't reach it right now. Okay. Um, I feel like I want to put jewelry somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. This is my only jewelry. Yeah. How do you feel about jewelry in and around your dresser or your bedroom at all? Um, I don't really have space. But if you had a decorative jewelry, I don't know box, what to do. Would you care? Because I just have so little. little like I kind of want yeah. something like super minimal. Yeah. Closet here. I guess I could keep it in here. Yeah. How often are you accessing it? When I go through phases. Phases. Okay. Where I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, where? Yeah. Let's set this aside down here as like a, mm -hmm. we'll work it in as in like once you get mm -hmm. your categories, you use every day, mm -hmm. you'll get that set and then you'll be like, oh, I've got a little flex space to add something. Oh, right. the jewelry could be perfect. Right. I'm guessing so, it'll fit in here. But I would like something that's nicer than storing it in a little box. Sure. It would be nice to have. Yeah. It, it also helps depending if it's silver and gold um, right. or tarnish because it's moist in the bathroom. Right. So it can uh, um, tarnish easily. But it looks like you do have, uh, like this could be a non-tarnish. Okay. Uh, this keeps it from... Okay. Tarnishing? Okay. So we'll have to look into that. I would like check it. maybe to move it out there then. Yeah. Um, and maybe just a little minimal jewelry box. Yeah. Because I was thinking a jewelry stand, but then I feel like that gets dusty and it's out and right. open and something maybe. Uh-huh. Okay. But if it's just a box that I can swipe to dust, yeah. maybe that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, nothing with a lot of detail. Yeah. Um, maybe we could just consider that. Can take a peek at any of this in here? It's yeah. Kind of mishmash so, there. So that's we'll makeup. Pull that out and just sort that. Yeah, that's makeup. Um, again, don't worry. This is your makeup replace uh, eyelash curler. Yeah. Definitely use that. Okay. It's such a weird thing. It is a weird thing. Yeah. Um, and now that's hair. Ah, your little hair. Yes. Oh, that's all. So it was just like, that's this was like hair, daily, yeah. and this is kind of like backup. backup. Okay. All right, let's do hair down With here. With safety pins in it. With safety pins, do you have it? Oh, is that a regular needle sewing needle too? Yes. Do you have a sewing needle? You don't have no. a sewing area. Okay. No, that's I, why. I just have a needle. Okay. Well, that's fair. Is, is that, you know where that's I there? I do. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. I, I've heard some people take, um, I think they keep it. It would be nice to like have a little box to put like maybe the safety pins and the sewing needle in. Yeah. Because I think the, I mean, I have the patches yeah. that we just put out there. Oh, the, yeah. 
Oh, uh, there's yeah. more safety pins in here. All right, I thought so. Okay, well, do mm -hmm. we... So maybe a little, just a little container to separate them would be yes. nice. Yes, yeah. Instead of mixing them in with hair. Right. What about this for, like, travel? This doesn't need to live here, right? No, um, let's see. I almost want to say maybe this is a little, a little bit better of a bag than the one I... This, I don't need this. I think yeah. I just... That's easily replaceable with a Ziploc. This is visible, I can see. Right, I mean, it's I more like heavy that. duty, but... I don't like that though. Travel area? You don't have to decide. Okay. With your suitcase. Okay. Okay. Put it in your suitcase. And then sometimes it's hard to be in that brain if you're not traveling. Right. So next time you travel, you pull out your suitcase, you'll mm -hmm. have three bags there and you'll see what you like. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, worst case scenario, you can always use a Ziploc bag. Okay. Right? So everything here we're using a lot. Even this this uh, yeah, candle. it's a light candle. Okay. When I have a candle, I don't have it in here right now, Go but ahead. I actually have a candle in here. Okay. This is this nice box. Unless you're like, nah, I don't care. What do you think? It'd be good to have the option. You could set it aside okay. as an option for later. It's so cute. Yeah. Well, it's um, cute. You could utilize it and then it could be cute and utilized. Right. Instead of cute and unutilized. Okay. I think we can get rid of this. Look. Cute box, uh, cute box unutilized, but we're going to try to utilize the cuteness. Um, I guess since we know this stuff's pretty obvious, it's yeah. going in here. So let's... Let's just go ahead and stage. I would say, um, you know, the big stuff mm -hmm. right in front because you're gonna—it's yes. big and you want to grab it out. Right. And then the little stuff, mm -hmm. the little stuff. Well, you know, sometimes if you have the small containers, right, you can reach back there. I want to say like a reach. makeup, like um, one for makeup, yeah, one for like the little hair things, yeah. And then the brushes can just be, yeah. Well, we'll, 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 we'll see. Some, I mean, it's a shame that it doesn't pull all the way out. That's really hard, making it hard. Right. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll measure. That's why I'm thinking out. no container here. Yeah, the flex space. Right. Yeah. Okay. And you use that all together, right? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Here. You still using this big clip? No. I'm prepared for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And would you say that it's a waste of space to put this in here? No. Because it, it could they're backups there. though. Oh, um, they're they're extras. Right. Yeah. So maybe I would say I would say backstop. I almost want to say like I could just because it's just so so such a little amount. Yeah. I also want to say just keep it all together, sure. but have like have one container and section off a little bit of it for just like the. Sure. I mean, every once in a while I need one of these, or I might yeah. need one of these. Okay. So I like, just have a couple like yeah. within easy reach. Sure. Um, Maybe the extras rather than back. separate it, like yeah. just have it all together. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is just an extra container for later. Okay. Oh, what was skin brush for skin brushing? So oh, it's part of your everything. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's figure out that. Yeah. This was down under. Mm -hmm. All this could be down under. Down under. Down under. Okay. This is gonna. I think we could hang this okay on the inside of the door command hook yep inside of there mm -hmm. yep yep right down there mm -hmm. so we want right do you have command hooks i do a couple things down there at the end oh. Oh. okay um this is hair trimming okay oh right so with razors I guess so. But would you go, would you mind grabbing? No, because I won't do it frequently. You don't use it often. Yeah. So now with hair trimming. Okay. Hair. This goes in my trash can. Hair management. This is so like right next to the trash right can to grab. Trash can. Well, so this makes sense next to yeah. the trash can. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, the, uh, mm -hmm. the trash can down here. Mm -hmm. I mean, where else it's going to go, that, right? Yeah. So let's put that up since we know. Yeah, you had it out, and then what happened? Tell me your process. I did. Happened. I just got tired of it. I just wanted to go back to like minimal. Yeah. Um, I think I look. Can, yeah, I think okay. I toss that. Right. Um, actually, I don't like that. Okay. And don't need to get rid of. I like these two. I okay. think. All right. I can't tell if this is like. This is really... Oh, what is your? Yeah. Oh, sweet. So put this in donate giveaway. I think so. Yeah. It still goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eyeglass. Uh, clean my eyelashes. I was using them. For is that a while. what this is for? Yes. Similar? Yeah. Yep. Okay. It'll be interesting. It'll be fun to find a little home for it. Um, this was gauze. I can just toss it. Okay. Uh, jewelry. I forgot about these. Ah, where's your jewelry collection? Over here. You want to? Yeah. Oh, do you like? 
<laughs> When's the last time you have worn all those items? Sometimes, sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna put on a little jewelry. It's like three times a year. Yeah, and it's nice to at least have something. I guess so. Okay. Um, where they look like they're getting a little tarnished. It's costume. Silver. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Does that still represent who you are now? Uh, <laughs> You'll know. You like to change. You like to switch yourself up. I do. Uh, that's why I feel so guilty because it's like I hate wasting things, but like I yeah. like to try things and then I'm yeah. like, nope, I guess this wasn't me because like right. I, when I wear it, I'm always like, like pushing at it, pushing it's getting in the way. <laughs> yeah. So then I'm and like, I want to look cute mm -hmm. and like put together. Yeah. Um, but I hate the, like how it gets in the way. Then yes. like, if I'm going to type, I have to take yeah. it off because I can't type with it. What if you kept one of each color and Because you're not going to waste them because you can donate them. So right. it's not getting wasted. Okay. And if you have one of each, at least you have something to put on if you need a little shimmer. Okay. Um, also, at the same time, if you did like them, you would be like, oh, these. Right. So just right. just mirroring what I'm seeing. Hate. Hate, hate, hate. Perfect. Look at that. Good job. <laughs> also, did you get my reference, Jessica? Hate, hate, hate? Yeah. Is that TikTok? The Grinch. Oh, the guy. No. Oh, that Grinch guy? Yeah. Um, At Disney? No, Jim Carrey's great. Oh, I don't. I'm not familiar with Jim Carrey's stuff. Sewing. Would you sew a button? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be realistic. Would you sew on a button? Extra pair of glasses definitely need backups. Shoes. Yeah, backups. Okay. So like, let's talk about the scenario. You're you you get a Red Rider BB gun and you shoot your eye out and you need a backup pair of glasses. Yeah. That's kind of like what we're thinking. Well, but I also like to rotate. Sometimes I sometimes I like I just rotated them out for a little while. Put these on. Oh, so it's these current prescription. Yeah. It's okay. Style. I I'm guilty. I keep my um, last pair old prescription just yes. in case I right. just saw my last two pairs. Not recommended by the eye doctor. Yeah. But my eye doctor's not watching this. I think she follows me. Um. Okay. We'll go clean that out. I think we could probably utilize this, possibly. Yeah, like under see. the under. That's why I put it under yeah, there. For something you want that's just like two steps away, because one right. steps the cabinet, two is to grab. So, because right. um, what I was gonna say is they cre they have um, things that are like this that are long ways. I'm sure you've probably seen them. They're of course like a little bit bigger, a little longer, and they have two sets of drawers, either closed, okay. enclosed, or open that you can pull towards you down underneath your sink. So I was thinking we could look into getting those for um, for your items. The glasses are kind of its own thing. Did we have a vision? You have backup contacts and mm -hmm. solution. Yeah. And these need to be protected. Um, oh, uh, maybe a case. Them. Yeah, here you wanna see which one fits them? Biggest one? Yeah. I wanna say this one's best. Fits it. Looks good. Yeah. All right, um, I'll set this kind of like its own thing, so we'll see where it can fall into place. I think I can go with the contacts. Yeah? And the, okay. Yeah. Eye stuff. Back up. Back up. It is. Oh. Yes. Okay, I will, um, I will wipe this down okay. later. We'll set yeah. aside the empty containers. We've made a little area of all your empty containers that we've emptied. We have this. Okay. Let's do these soaps. Okay. These are for shower. Yeah, not anymore. No, I just bought them all, and now I'm like, I want liquid soap. Um, oh, <laughs> did I do that? No, no. I was already, like I yeah. said, I learned from yeah. doing a thorough cleaning of my shower about how they create more soap scum. So I bought even the natural ones. I think, I think so. Yeah, oil. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bar soap. It said bar soap creates more. I mean, you could donate. Okay, I'll do that. They're so pretty. It's pretty. All right. Um, let's just peek at the cleaning supplies real quick. Um. I think it's pretty obvious, like that. That one's pretty full, right? I can. We can move. We can have move this to like relocate to the yeah. uh, laundry room. Yeah, the laundry room's kind of overflowing. And then now we gotta do that next. That's kind. Of, that's kind of part of the game. Yeah. So this is the one I've been using. It still okay. has like a quarter, less than a quarter okay. left. All right. They might be dried out. I don't know. This one feels a little heavier. So okay, keep that. So those stay. No, I don't need to keep none of them. For clean? Just, just one. Just one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Next? Uh, no, I think it's like a concoction. I can okay. just dump it. Okay. Dump Laundry it. Room? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Funny, I have these at home too. Yep. <laughs> I 
Yep. But I ended up putting them in my plant box because I spray my plants down okay. with mixtures. I don't know what to do It's with a these. tough one, isn't it? How about just keep one? Okay. Because if you're going to use them, are you really going to use three? Right. Should keep that. Hold one. on to one. Laundry room? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Uh, toilet bowl clean or keep, yeah? Uh, yes. Let's use all of that except for this. Okay. So I use all that here. Okay. Ever buy big packs of these? Um, big packs? Yeah, sometimes they have like large I do. packs. Yeah, but I think I bought those in a large pack. Okay. And I distribute them or keep them in the laundry room. Back, back up in the laundry room. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're so close. We're so close. You're doing so good. So you were talking about sheets going in your master closet. Is that right? Yeah, but the, like the, the, I swap these every week. Okay, once a week. Yeah, once a week. This is uh, like backup. Backup. Yeah. Just extra. Uh, what is this? It's, it's also good. Like yeah. Yeah. I guess I can keep that. Okay. Um. Uh, that. Yeah. Uh, when when the pillows are up on the top shelf there, um, is there room for sheets too with the pillows? Or it gets pretty stuffed. It's pretty stuffed, but I was thinking of maybe like, I feel like the pillows, like, that should go in the closet. Like, yeah. That's not for that. Yeah, that's I would great. like, if you really want a nice aesthetic, when people want a nice aesthetic in their areas, it's, um, you need kind of more, generally a more minimal collection of things. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to spread stuff out and make yeah. things easy to access, I would recommend yeah. putting these in a, a guest closet or... This can all go in the closet, like in this closet. Master closet. Master closet. Okay. This is a hair wrap for my hair. Like I bend over and then I wrap yeah. it. It's like for your drying oh. your hair. Okay. Um, usually I just hang it on the back handle, but since we've been we've been here, I've moved it for us. So oh, I see. Not... So you don't mind it being all that's where it lives on the handle? Yeah, it usually lives on the okay. handle. All right, let's set that aside and we'll put that back up there then. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, all right, so closet, and then these are in- I don't know where to put those anymore. I used to have them on the toilet. Okay. I like them easily accessible. Yeah. They're kind of a daily thing. Would you like them here? Would uh, that be nice? Uh, not necessarily, because a lot of times I want one for the bathtub when I'm in the bath. And I so it's easier to bath. reach over there. So I actually need them to yeah. kind of go with the, like, the skin care. And I don't like that basket that I put, I can't see anything. And oh, there's, there's little, little things in it too. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll didn't analyze fit everything either. We'll analyze that then. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Let's so do this, this I need in this closet, I think. Okay. For yeah. So this uh that technically that's this is this is this gets swapped every week. I yeah. swap. I have two. Okay. So I put this in. The, yeah. So they. So these are in there, but probably these go are either there or uh -huh. with that basket. Or the, whatever the tub stuff yeah. that you want to bring right. in and out yep. with minimal clutter visually. Yes. So safe to say this can go into your closet. We yes. Relocate. Let's just do it with the relocate yeah. pile. Yeah, because I don't know if I even have room right now. Yeah. Right. Perfumes. Perfumes are rarely used too, right? Kind of like the jewelry. Yeah. All right. Yeah, jewelry and perfume should go together. Yeah. I like the idea of moving that out there. Okay. Somehow. Yeah. A little jewelry box and they'll put the perfumes on or something to tuck it away. Yeah. Like, hide it away. Yeah. Okay. You love. Um, pampering. This is like your pamper yeah. basket when you're in the bathtub. It's my skincare. You value a good bath, your skincare oh. routine. Uh -huh. So this is happening in the bathtub. It is, um, but I have heard that like it's not good to have stuff out, like one, in the bathroom because of moisture, moisture uh -huh. but also two, sunlight. So I was thinking of like, what if I put it under this, but that's going to be cleaning products. So. Right. Maybe, um, maybe um, on the first shelf of this closet, because it's yeah. like right here and I'm getting into the bathtub yeah. so I could like open the closet door and just pull it right out. Right, and this this um, is very tight right now. This, so this is, is too tight. Ideal. Like, yeah, it's not yeah. really fitting and there's like yeah. little things that are actually extra razors. I there. would argue too that this basket over time would, um, if, yeah, if you have not, like leftover yeah. oils or, or drips, yep. it's going to get wonky. And it's right. a little, it's a little wobbly. Yeah, it was just a makeshift. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, do you still want this in... extra razor? Is there anything that like doesn't I do, go in here? I do, because like I don't, like, well, I think to change it when I'm already in the bath. So I do need like one extra. You do like having yeah. that there. And then I would replace it. Yeah. I would put that on the side of the bathtub. So okay. I would replace it. So, okay. It's all just skincare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want to be able to grab all of this mm -hmm. when you're going to take your bath. Yeah. But you want it out of sight. Yeah. So I think it's going to get wet. The stuff's going to get wet. Right. So plastic or mm -hmm. something that's not going to mm -hmm. matter if it's a little moist. Mm -hmm. That's something you could wipe or clean over yeah. time. Uh huh. All right. So, and then a little bit more spread out. I'm thinking maybe like. Hello, you know, kids go to college, but a nicer version of like yeah. a shower caddy. I did get have that. I just got rid of it. Yeah, what happened? Um, it just it didn't fit everything easily. Yeah. It was too it was too many 
no, no, it just wasn't, it didn't work okay. well. It had like three slots and then one big slot and there was just stuff that didn't fit. Yeah. I don't know if maybe it wasn't big enough. Okay. Um, I almost want to say probably just, maybe I don't like all the slots. It would have been easier to just have it all. One big open, shallow. So I think okay. that's too deep. Yeah. So shallow, see-through. Mm -hmm. Maybe one slot for the little tiny, real tiny stuff. The real tiny stuff, because otherwise everything's pretty. You know, you got these like these thin, but then you got these thick rounds. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're mixing these different. Yeah, and it's not like you can put these on their side. They have to stay they have flat. To flat. Yeah, mm -hmm. this will be a really interesting find. I think uh -huh. it might take us, you know, some time, but we can definitely see what's good. This may be more custom to order online. Okay. But when we go and we browse stuff, we'll get ideas. We can brainstorm and kind of. Okay get get headed into the right direction for what you want along with you're talking about having these face cloths using these every day but you're yeah. using these at the sink and the bathtub you said um usually i use them in the bathtub they are you're just because you're here i'm not taking baths right okay so let's do that so we remember that that's part of that right and then this is the one hand towel that you switch out so uh -huh. it's like its own thing okay yeah, so of. that's just going to get like right tucked away i'm even wondering like i don't mind if that goes with this with like that? you know yeah i was even thinking like yeah. if you can take advantage of the back of your cabinets if you only have just like that one hand towel and it's right. clean and it doesn't feel dirty oh did you oh it's a hanging bar yeah. i was like if you had your backup just hanging right and oh, then right. just pull that off right um rather than it taking up shelf space just as uh, an okay. option i think i like the idea of putting yeah. it with this do you okay great. yeah let's do that I don't know how you fold them, but we can add yeah. that. Okay. Let me do, um, let me write down tub. Let's put tub caddy for now. We know what we're talking about. Tub caddy. I know we're going to get turntables, but I got to measure turntables. I want to at least get one turntable for you for the cleaning supplies down there, probably. Because it's just so nice to spin yeah. and grab it. Yeah. Especially cleaning supplies can be heavy. So if you have a big tub right. and you're pulling it out, um, I don't need to pull. Usually, I just need one thing at a time. Like yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, but if you and if you have a minimal, if you like reduce that, yeah, like a quarter a or a half, stuff there. we may not even need um, a caddy because sometimes they can um, this this the turn table because they can sometimes take up space. Okay. Um. So we'll we'll analyze that. Turn table. I'll put question mark. Okay. Cleaning supplies, bins, for sh for closet shelves. We're gonna measure the shelves. Let's go to measure. And then um, bins for the closet shelves there. And then I want to look into those stacked drawer things for either one or two down there. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like I, I um, miss out on this whole half of this. Yeah. Wasted space. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And same same with kind of both cabinets. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. of them. Mm -hmm. I was thinking too, and even though you have your link, your link, your leak there, if you have one of those things, it's going to be up off of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. So it won't really interfere with your, your right. if you just pull that out when you get the plumber here. Right. Um, I think we've gone through everything. Mm -hmm. We just have to measure. So when I'm planning to shop for containers, I want full measurements of each cabinet, drawer, shelf, and closet. I'll take the basic measurements of the width, length, depth, and height. But then if I know there's something very specific that I need to measure, such as the toilet paper container at the bottom of this closet, I'm going to measure that specific area where it's going to live. When you're measuring drawers, you want to remember the height of the container so the drawer can close. And when measuring shelves, you want to measure in between each shelf and what the clearance will be if you have items inside of a container. Also, you want to pay attention to the sides brackets, doors, and walls, and trim that get in the way. And here's my list of all the measurements taken that I will take with me to the store when buying containers. These went into this closet here because it has that wire. Um, ultimately, to replace those would be really nice. I think it would be easy to install uh, something with a track. Flexible or readjustable shelving is always really nice to have as your space changes. Um, but these were some pl the pleather placemats, mm -hmm. which I thought was pretty creative. I thought we could come up with another idea, but we have a lot going on right now. So I feel like... We could maybe make a note of it when we go to Target and see if we can come up with a quick solution. I feel like I want to do a little research. I don't think we're going to need anything to replace that. If we, we have all bins. All bins. If we have all containers. That's the only reason I needed because I was putting individual products That's true. on the shelves. Set this on side inside projects. Okay. I think this is doing. Okay. One of the best ways you can utilize the height of your under sink cabinets is to go vertical. 
Okay. So that would be also, you could do, do you ever see those under the sink shelves that work around your pipes? No. They're um, shelves that you idea. can build. They're adjustable for width, so it right. doesn't matter what the width is. They can expand and right. contract, and then they have fill-in shelves depending on how your where your plumbing is. So it works right. around the plumbing. So then what you can do is mimic a drawer system with containers, and then you have two sets of so you, have the, you have the bottom of the cabinet is the first layer, mm -hmm. horizontal layer. Then you have the next shelf, which is the next layer. And then you have a top shelf, which is your next layer. Mm -hmm. So you can have a bunch of small plastic containers or any type of container Wait. and pull that out like a drawer system. Oh, so okay. that could really level up. You might actually have some space to spare. That would be nice. If we go up. Okay. One of the common bins are these like these shoe, bo shoe boxes. And these are low cost considering the other option, which can be, it's called like in, it called? inner design, eye design, which is like a thicker, uh, more heavy duty container. If you treat them well, you could have them forever. Mm -hmm. They can be a little pricey. It could be like $15 per, per thing and it could have a handle, mm -hmm. um, but you're gonna, you're gonna have, be able to have length and go longer to utilize the depth of your shelves. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we're gonna look into and they have some that are shallow, some that are high, some that are long and some that are short and those are really, really nice to have. So okay. I'm thinking inner design style with the handle or not, okay. um, longer, like uh, whatever, like this, this, but a little longer because okay. that's where the shoe box is. Sometimes you lose your, right. you lose, you lose a good four, four inches, five inches with right. the depth with that. What's the width on these? 24 divided by six. Oh, that could be real nice. So, uh, um, let's go to Target. Ah! Um, <laughs> we just kidding, I'm just kidding. Have we done school yet? I don't know, you <laughs> hit your wall like 40 million miles ago. Okay, space bag the pillows. Yes. Put them up with the air mattress. Yes. Give yourself a nice area. Yes. You use this every day. You I want to do pillow. Um, you, for you. For you. you yeah. Um, you, you picked out one last year. Yeah, they're... But you need a, the... The other one is older. Okay. So one is only a year old. Yeah. Okay. How is it? How are you liking it now that you've had What's some time? Because you picked it out. Did I, I like, pick a real cheap pillow? You did. I was like, are you yeah, sure? It, 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 it swishes. It's like... Yeah. Swish, swish, yes. Swish. I remember holding it and being like, this is the one you want. And you're like, yes. And I'm like, you sure you don't want this other one over here? And you're like, nope. I want this one. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, this is awful. <laughs> Even putting it, the pillowcase on, I was like, I wonder if she's still gonna like this. <laughs> Cause you it, out. it reminds me of like in the hospital. Yeah, it's awful. Sure, sure, I don't sure. understand what Thank you were thinking. Thank you. My new pillow. Did you so write down space pillows. bag? Pillows. Space bag. Yes. You deserve your top shelf. And I need new makeup. And I need new hair tools. And I need New house, the new house, new life, new life, new you, new me. Run, run away, go. Well, that's it for purging and sorting. Let's review our categories. Everyday hair supplies, just stuff in the drawer. We've got washcloths and skincare, linens, cleaning, body care, health care, nails, Cats, feminine products, backups, teeth, and shaving. Oh, can't forget hair tools. But what happened around the corner in the other room? That is everything that just goes back decorative. This is relocate mostly to the laundry room. A couple things throughout the house. That is going to Steve. We've got giveaway or donate. Trash and recycle. And then, as always, there's always some side projects that are going to come out of a project. So we're going to handle those. Now it's time to go shopping. We've got our measurements. We've got our categories. Here's the shopping list. Now, some of these are just suggestions. I didn't know what Target was going to have, and I wanted to get the job done by the time I left my sister's house. Also, my sister did not end up going with me, so it was up to me to pick out things I think she would like based on what was available at Target that day. So I did get a little extra. I would normally not do that, but we did end up having some returns. 
We didn't end up using that stacking drawer piece. We didn't use the second turntable. Now, shelf liner. I hadn't done this in a while, and my special brain felt really overwhelmed by it because it's so many steps. The adhesive is very frustrating. The ruler, the measuring, the cutting. And so the first pieces didn't quite cover the whole bottom. And I thought, I'm not doing a tiny little strip. No way. I'm not finishing it. And then towards the end, my perfectionism got the best of me. And I thought, I can't leave gaps on these shelves. This is going to keep them looking nice. It didn't even look like shelf liner once I put it on. And it felt really good to accomplish and kind of brush up on my skills. So I was glad I did it, but it took a little bit of a push to focus and get the job done. Oh, containing is one of my favorite parts. It's when everything comes together. Here we're working with my favorite product, the Command Back of the Cabinet Container. There's different variations, sizes, and versions of this. If you live in a small space, back of cabinet organizing can be crucial to saving space. The bins you're seeing were a nice matching line from Target. Now, what can be challenging is if you may go and go to find matching containers and they don't have all the right sizes in stock. So I kind of had to work with what they had in stock. And I may or may not have told my sister that she needed to go back and get two more of the same size. However, it is good to have extra bins. If you want to keep a matching set going forward and they discontinue the line, that can be a challenge. Also, if your space grows and a new category shows up, it's good to have one or two extra just in case. You don't have to. It's just a little tip. You can also stack them inside of each other so it doesn't even take up room. You just have to remember that it's there. Now let's talk about organizing a drawer with lots of little bins. How do you make it match? You buy lots of little different sizes. You put all the stuff in that fits appropriately, and then you work it like a jigsaw puzzle. This setup was too rigid. If you remember earlier in the video, we talked about some flex space. Sometimes large objects that are large and bulky, they just need a lot of flex space. You want to be able to just toss stuff in the drawer, not strategically set them like a jigsaw puzzle. The little bins in the drawer were actually pretty low cost, comparable to the dollar store, and I liked that they were flexible. They had a little bit of give, so that worked out well. Ultimately, the goal for me personally and a lot of my clients with autism spectrum, ADHD, neurospiciness, is that it shouldn't be work to get it out and put it away. Depending on which containers you get, they will come with labels and barcodes, and they're not always easy to get off. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. Sometimes you need a little goo gone or some patience. The next bin I'm working on is the skincare bin. If you look closely, I added a small frosted bin in the middle. That holds all the little stuff that could fall to the bottom or shift around. I want to mention the little tiny three drawer unit. It's left of the bin I'm working on now. Now she already had that and it's holding lots of little tiny, tiny things. And sometimes these drawers can be great as long as you don't overfill them or put anything heavy in them. If you overstuff them, they can start to bow. Ooh, we're heading over to a turntable. A turntable is one of my other favorite top products. It's hard to mimic with a do-it-yourself or recreate that at home. So it's one of those things that I would highly recommend spending money on. They're not too pricey, about maybe $10, give or take, with the quality. If a budget for containers is not on your radar for whatever reason, can you recreate what I'm showing you here? Yes, when it comes to the function of the bins. To find matching aesthetics, you'll have to get creative. Some of the more economic resources for containers are the Dollar Store, Facebook Marketplace, or your local Buy Nothing group. A Ziploc is a nice little trick for when you have odd-shaped small items in a large container with other items. If you Ziploc something, it's easier to find it, and it's less likely to slip away underneath everything. Ooh, it's time for labels! My sister did not have a label maker, but she did have these vintage sticker labels. Labels can help you learn your new system quicker. It also prompts your brain to help you find things a little bit easier. Well, guess what? It's time to surprise my sister. <laughs> wow.
little stinker. I was like, I don't think people like a good reaction. I didn't want to like put you on the spot to react. I see. Okay, so that was genuine. Yeah. So what did I just do? I forgot. I don't even know. That's okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's perfect. It's perfect. So Amazing. it's really spread out. There's a lot yeah, of space I in here. That. Yeah. Now you can fit four of these across. And I was thinking we should at least get you one or two more. Sometimes new categories pop up or you want to spread out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So two more of these. You're going to fill up your toilet paper once you get a new order. Mm -hmm. um, this can also be another one of these. It could, you know, see that you lost that space in the back a little right, bit, but right. it's not like you're fighting for space now. Right. You're pretty ideal then yeah you'll you'll sleep but these are these are backups like odd shaped backups okay. like weird stuff that you would want to containerize but this right. is like quick grab backup nice. and then you use these so much that like you yeah. want them like right there right and then you know linens and cat stuff so oh yes there we go it feels it's nice so it feels so good wow okay coming on over oh right more. Okay, we're gonna go cleaning supplies. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. Hair tools. Oh, that's perfect. I hope you like utilizing yeah. that. You could always add another one if nice. you for your sponges or just like little stuff. Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's even better than I thought it was. Good. You got your shelf liner down there? Yeah, I love wow, it looks doesn't even look like that's cool. Yeah, so it keeps it protected and clean. I love that it, this cut out, yeah. Nice. Very cool. Okay, let's go drawer. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. So I think we'll have to talk about this in more detail. Okay. I didn't, these were a little flimsy and okay. I couldn't find bamboo like you wanted. Okay. Um, this, this I tried to add like slim ones, mm -hmm. but it just got too rigid. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think you just need to be able to like, you yeah. know, toss. Yeah. So your so this is my thought is like you have to shift a little bit. So these are your more everyday right. eye class or glass eyeglass cleaners nice. and your every more everyday things. Right. But then your backups if you want to replenish are back here. Nice. Would that work? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, um I don't know if the makeup is accessible enough yeah. there. Yeah, is that yeah, okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I don't really use those as much as I use just like these right here. Those yeah. there. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, it was uh had I had a little hard time moving those around and getting the right fit. So hopefully so this is still empty, but we have to add you have your makeup bag that we still have to go through in the other room. Right. So you've got wiggle room. We still have a container I can show you that you might want to use there. That stacking drawer thing. Right. Um pan to that real quick if I want a visual. And then this mirror can hang up here. Or you can hang it, you can hang it there. Nice. Uh, or here, okay. whichever you think nice. you would want. Um, we talked about doing the stacking drawer thing here, but it didn't really work out. I think it would be harder. I think you can just reach down in there okay. and grab what you need. Yeah. Um, of course, you still have a lot of space here. So if yeah. you find you want to add anything, anything else, you know, this can, of course, there's just bags, so that can tuck back there. Right. You can slide this over a little bit and add a whole nother, wow. you know, another type of bin. Um, so you've got a lot of wiggle room and flexibility. Okay. But, you know, leaving space, yeah. leaving space um, is, is pleasing for, you know, I can believe for people, I have so. a whole, almost a whole cabinet. I yeah. Don't think there's anything that's gonna really go in there. It took us a total of five hours to complete this project. The total cost of all containers used was $123 from Target. I hope you enjoy this video as I had been desiring to shoot a video like this for many years. I want to bring an authenticity, a transparency, but also a fun lightheartedness to organizing and the way that I see it. The focus of my brand is to create practical and realistic organizing tips. While not everybody has a budget or a desire for matching containers and pretty aesthetics when it comes to organize, I did want to meet my sister's needs and goals for this space. Whether you have a budget or not, or a desire for aesthetic matching containers or Instagram photo ready organizing systems, the organizing process is still the same, no matter how much or little clutter you have. I wanted to use this space because her clutter level was low and it was a good way to show a transformation in a shorter amount of time. You're still going to purge, sort, contain, and maintain. The difference in budget is just when the containers come into play and how much space you have available in your home.
I'm really excited to film more videos just like this and improve the quality, the sound, and the content in the future. If you desire to learn more about the organizing process, you can check out my book, How to Organize Everything. It's available on Amazon, ebook, and print version. Also down in the description is a link to my Amazon shop. That's where I recommend my favorite organizing products. I only recommend mostly things that I have personal experience with or have had a client thoroughly enjoy. If you want to stay in touch and know what my next move will be, you can also sign up for my monthly newsletter at my website, iorganizeeverything.com. If you haven't already and you want to support me, please follow my YouTube channel or hit that like button and also leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was. Thanks so much for watching. Happy organizing.